All right. Uh, just what everybody wanted. Uh, what everybody was asking for. Not really. But everybody that does any kind of hiking are going to have some kind of gear video. And that's what this is all about. And I need that thing right there. That's coming with me. It's my little stand. My little uh, on stand. Let's see how we... You need to start placing bets and see how long that thing's going to last on the trail. Because <laughs> so I'll probably drop it or it'll fall down and it'll break. Okay. So where do I start? Let's start with Mr. Tent. That's the Lanchon 2 Tent. That's the name of the company that makes them. Meyer. Like Rick Meyer, the failed quarterback from 18 million years ago. All right, so we'll just pop them on the floor right there. Um, still haven't set it up. I have a half of a video made of me trying to set that up. So the rest of it is probably gonna have to happen on the actual Arizona Trail. So just in case you are wondering. What goes good with a tent? Tent stakes. Now, uh, this is the mighty peg that came with the $18 million tent. <laughs> okay. Woo! This <laughs> is the peg that I'm bringing. I mean, come on. Wimpy, 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 hefty, 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 hefty. That kind of says everything right there. Okay. Rain jacket. It's a nice L.L. Bean one. It's like the, one of the first times I've ever shot that L.L. Bean. And I saw this. It called my name. And it's coming. This thing <clears throat> cost about $50 less than that thing. And, uh... It's like my puffy got it at Walmart for only a paltry 19 bucks, if you can believe it. All right. Well, all these things make the trip, I don't know. But uh, this is uh, kind of a breathable hoodie. I'm all about hoodies. So this is definitely making the trip. Very lightweight. Use it all the time. While we're on clothes, will this make it? It's a fleece hoodie. Um, TBD. Don't know if that's making the trip, but it's uh, it's in the running. Boop. Throw it right over there. This. <laughs> yeah, I like hoodies, but I also like to stay warm. This is a wool hoodie from Paka. That's P-A-K-A. -A. That's actually their insignia right there. Very, very cool. Wouldn't you say? What in the world are you eating? I probably don't want to know. Okay. My boy. My boy, my boy, my boy. This is obviously an Osprey, as you can see if you turn your video upside down. The Exos 48. This is already seeing quite a bit of service. Um, I did the Northwoods Loop Trail, now called the Moosehead Loop Trail, because my girlfriend is a girl and she's always right. So, uh, wicked light. Oh. Like a compared to compared to that thing, which is also an osprey, this thing is basically a postage stamp. The lightest pack I've ever had. I think it's lighter than some of my day packs. I would like to actually try that out. But anyways, moving on to this little puppy. Okay, well, this is kind of a twofer. 
why you don't have one of these in your pack, I don't know. It's a compression sack. Um, the, ev the event ones. See, right there, event. In case of the event, you need to keep your belongings dry. Say, a 14 degree sleeping bag, such as this puppy right here. Who makes it? Um, I forget. 20 minutes later, down tech. Um, that's big Agnes right there. Agnes. No, it's not by big Agnes. It's just regular Agnes, apparently. Okay. Wow. Who knew? So I bet you've been wondering what in the world that is. This is what it says it is. It's a Sawyer. And it's a filter inside a bottle. I don't know. I must have had money to burn and I got it anyway. Because I have Mr. Handy Dandy Sawyer Squeeze right there. I mean, money. Don't know if that's making the trip, but I didn't buy it to, you know, use as a door stoop either. <sighs> Once upon a time, I did the long trail, and I forgot to bring a spoon. Oh, there's a spoon, and I think I have another one around here somewhere. Else. Okay. Socks. Kind of says it all. They're all wool. A couple of them are darn tough. I can't remember what the third one might be. These are my... Kind of has some dog hair on it, so try not to look at it too closely. But that's my long johns. And I'm probably going to switch out to... What do they call it? Smart wool. This is not smart wool. They're warm. I love them. Yeah. Might not make the trip. Uh, there's another one of those handy dandy useless things. A whistle. I don't know. In case I... This, this, one use I'm going to use that for, because there's two of them. I mean, you can see there's two. Uh, is going to be to bind these things to that thing. clear pack cover pack towel this will probably no I got two towels that seems like overkill I'm sure to most purists but hear me out that's gonna clean my pot that's gonna wipe condensation off the inside of the tent that's gonna be a bunch of other stuff uh, you know if I got dirty feet or something I just, I mean, those will fit right inside, right inside the stove. So, there's my hat. Yeah, that says what it says. All right. There's my boy. That's coming. I have had this and possibly this sleeve for a very long time. I don't know if this is the exact same pot. But um, long ago, far away, I bought a brand new jet boil at Mountain Crossings in Georgia. That Mountain Crossings, yeah. Um, and I've had it ever since, so to the, almost 20 years ago. I remember somebody telling me that uh, they thought that jet boils were a fad. And I replied to them, well, geez, I didn't know having a hot meal was a fad. I think it was funnier when I said it the first time. Anyways, definitely coming. Gore-Tex gloves, definitely coming. Although, I see people with sun gloves on. I don't think they sell too many of those up in these parts. So maybe someday if I run into any. 20 
thousand amps of juice in it. it actually folds out like that so I can recharge the phone when it starts to die liner for the super duper big Agnes <laughs> the world's most useless pillow but it's a pillow yeah so um, hearing a lot of stuff about a lot of uh, iciness on the Arizona Trail right now. Today is the, it's Sunday, and I got 10 more days for it. It's 28th, so it's probably, I don't know, whatever day it is. Um, they're saying on the Arizona Trail there's a lot of ice. So actually some people hiked up. I don't know, Miller Peak or one of the peaks out that way without crampons and they had to get evac'd. Evac'd. So, yeah. Probably they're coming. Uh, those will help on sunny, sunny, sunny days and I hope there's so many of those it hurts. A pair of shorts. These are more like swim trunks. I don't know if I should pony up and get a real pair of shorts, but Wool beanie. Oh, yeah. Putzel. Headlamp. Super duper belt. <laughs> I take this to work with me. I mean, I've had this for probably two years now. So it's definitely going on the trail. So it can help me keep those guys from falling down. Because those are pants. What else? All right. The Lanchion 2. The Lanchion 2 is a trekking pole tent, which means it doesn't have any interior stuff. You got to bring some kind of something. These, those guys right there, uh, to help prop up the tent. And uh, I already own, they were free, they were comped whatever uh pair of trekking poles and i've had them since i did the long trail and they i think they're fantastic but they're old and i need something that can consistently you know pull out and not all of a sudden sink in in the middle of the night which is what i think those could do so i wanted something brand new so pony up for the compadels okay Thermo rest. Yeah, I have a inflatable thermo rest. So it's going to have to talk me out of not bringing it because I'm pretty sure I'm going to be bringing it. Lastly, the ass pad. You know who Darwin is. Well, he says, bring an ass pad. So, yeah, you know, it's just something to sit on that could also definitely be uh, used as a makeshift pillow or if I need a, a more padding under my uh, <coughs> cheap ass pillow right there. I just, that thing just, ugh, I don't know. But yeah, ass pad. What a great way to end the video with an ass pad. Um, but boy, those are going to be super duper warm sitting on that on a cold day, having lunch when there's two feet of snow all around. That'll come in mighty handy. And it beats having to unravel that from the top of the pack or bottom of the pack or wherever the hell it's going to be. Yeah. Okay. Thanks for watching. Now I'm going to pack all this stuff, and I'm going to go hike a mountain. Shh, don't tell anybody. Avalanche. Where are we, buddy? Where did we decide to go for a hike? 
prongs there. Yes, prong pond. We're gonna go that way for a ways. Bang a left and possibly hit the prong pond trail from the water. That doesn't happen very often, so very cool. A lot of uh, deer traffic. Let's get her done. By the way, so yeah, I think there's a few things in the pack I had to take out. I don't know, but most everything's inside the pack. 92%, we'll call it. Including four, four, you counted four liters of water. Which would get me 16 miles in Arizona. So... If anything, I'm not going to be very thirsty for the next uh, couple hours. You ready? Well, let's go. A lot of deer traffic. There's our island of red pines right there. We're going to get on that here in just a few minutes. Say hi. Woohoo! He's happy. Yes, sir. All right. This reason he's happy is we are at the end, I guess, of the Prong Pond Trail. So, let's go see what it looks like. Beautiful place for a campsite. There. Obviously, there is a campsite here. Yeah, it doesn't say much. And neither does that. Avalanche! Hey, buddy. Come on. Let's go. Here he goes. Shot out of a cannon. Five, four, three, two, one. Landfall. Yes. Good boy. All right. Are we ready? We have to go that way. We're going to be going uphill. Yep. Okie dokie. Campsites over there. Pond, doggy, blue place trail right over here. There's a bit of a gap for whatever reason between the blazes and the campsite. Not 100% sure why, but I can tell you the water is fairly deep over there. I swam there one year. Did the trail, came right down. Boop. Pretty as you please. You ready? You might be breaking trail. You think? All right. Let's see what I'm walking into out here. Those are deer tracks right there. You really think a deer made a hole that big? Yeah. Sasquatch, that's what I'm thinking. A couple of nice pair of rocks right there. Cool. Abby, come here. Come say hi. You're, you're the hero of the movie, yeah. Are we ready? You having a afternoon snack? Good. Don't poke your eye out. Yo, hey, can you go up there, please? 
It's a long way down. You got to see this. One thing, yeah, it is a long way down. But who darling? too bad that's scamming ridge over there that whole ridge line little moose big moose and up close and personal is burnt jacket very cool and that over there i can't wait to see what that thing weighs but been a trooper total trooper hey buddy been a trooper, huh? Yeah. All right. Very, very good. Keep uh, getting wrapped up in following deer tracks. And, of course, the dog is following the deer tracks. But I forget to go after the blue tracks. Yeah, not that I'm worried about getting lost, but jeepers. I'm supposed to be hiking the trail, buddy, not the deer trail. Come on, what are you doing? I'm trying to have a clearing. Kind of on top of a ridge. Definitely on top of a ridge. <laughs> Abby? Yep. We made it. Very cool trail. Was pretty cool too. The color doesn't really let you see it. Safety. Yeah, so take a picture of that if you like the trails up this way. I can wait. I got more water to drink than you can possibly imagine. <laughs> yeah, so that one right there